A one-page checkout streamlines the checkout process and allows customers to complete their purchase on a single page. This means that customers can add products to their order, update their card, complete the checkout form, and make payment all on one page. My name is Sunday, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a one-page checkout in WooCommerce. Ready? Let's get started. So here's a website using the regular WooCommerce checkout flow, and currently we are on the single product page where the customer has to select the quantity of the product they desire, and from here they can add uh, the product to their cart, and they have to buy it and view the card from where they can also make changes to the card items and from the card they proceed to checkout to where they can now fill the checkout uh, fields and make payment so this checkout process is long but you can streamline the checkout process and make it easier for customers to check out using one page checkout so here's another test site I have set up and this site uses one page checkout you can see that this is still the single uh, product page but when you scroll down you're going to see that all the checkout fields are right here so when a customer selects the quantity and clicks on hard to order yeah it just takes them to the checkout the checkout is right here on the product page and they can fill in their name they can update uh, the cut quantity right on the, the product page and they can go ahead and enter uh, fill in the checkout fields and enter their card information to make payment everything happens on uh, the product page and this is quite useful but especially if you're uh, advertising promoting your products or, or maybe on social media, you're running paid ads, when customers uh, or potential customers click on the product and they're on the product page, they can check out right on this page. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how to set up a one page checkout like this. So for this tutorial, we'll be using uh, the WooCommerce one page checkout. So while the WooCommerce plugin itself is free, WooCommerce offers extensions, uh, which is the same thing as add on or plugins, uh, as they are also called. And these uh, extensions or plugins simply allow you to extend the functionality of the core WooCommerce plugin. So, for the one page checkout functionality, what you want to do is to go to WooCommerce.com and purchase the one page checkout plugin. So, I've already purchased this. So, what I just need to do is to go to my uh, WooCommerce account dashboard and from there I go to downloads and I'll just search for one page checkout to speed things up and here's the plugin I'm just going to click this download icon to download it and next thing I'm going to go to the test site I'll be using for this tutorial and go to the dashboard of the site Go to plugins, add new, click on upload plugin, choose file, and just choose the one page checkout plugin I just downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install now. And after this, click activate plugin. And there you go. The next thing is to enable one page checkout. So you can see. We've activated the plugins, but we've not enabled one page checkout for our product. So to enable one page checkout, all you have to do is to go to products, all products. It is the product you would like to enable one page checkout for. For this, I would like to enable it for this uh, OD product. So I'm going to just click edit, to edit the product. And you see where we have the WooCommerce product data. If you look at, uh, you see that a new option has been added, a one page checkout. Once you select this option, once you check the box and update your products, you're going to see that one page checkout functionality is going to be added to the product page. And that's how simple it is to enable one page checkout. But don't go anywhere because there are still additional functionalities that the one page checkout 
uh, extension as that I will be walking you through. So first, let's view our product and see the difference. Here's our hoodie product page. Uh, what we're going to do is purchase two units of the product. So let's increase the quantity to two. Click add to order. And if we scroll down, we are going to see that two units uh, have been added to our card and we can update uh, the card and complete the checkout right on this page. However, what would be nice would be if uh, immediately we had it to order or had it to cut if it scrolled down automatically on its own to the checkout field because currently it's possible that some customers may not know that we have one page checkout enabled. So we are going to go to uh, the WooCommerce one page checkout extension settings and enable an option that will ensure that once a customer has uh, a product to the cart, it's going to automatically scroll down to uh, the checkout fields so they will know that they can check out right on this page. So to do that, we're going to go to our dashboard and we're going to look at the WooCommerce menu on this sidebar, click on settings, click on one page checkout, and we're going to see this checkout behavior enable auto scroll. We're going to select that and click save changes. And if we go back to our product and we refresh the product page, we find that once you click add to order, it's going to automatically scroll down to uh, where we have the notifications that says the product has been added to uh, your order and we are going to see the checkout fields. So this makes uh, uh, the process really seamless because every customer is going to know how oh, I can check out right on this page and the customer can go ahead and fill in their uh, information, enter their card information right on the same page and they can place an order all on the same page, which really uh, increases conversion. So that's how to set up one page checkout. And before I end this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few other functionalities that the WooCommerce one page checkout has. For that, I'm just going to go to the product documentation. You can also search for one page checkout here on WooCommerce and you can find the documentation. It's always a great idea to go to the documentation to see all the supported functionalities. So from the documentation, we can see that you know there are uh, short codes and there are templates. So one page checkout has short codes that can allow us to uh, you know copy uh, use the short code to add products to to any page. So we can have products to any page and then we use the one page checkout uh, functionality. So let me show you how that works. First, I'm just going to copy the example user short code and go to my side, side dashboard, create a new page. I'm going to click this plus sign and select the short code, or you can search for short code if you don't see it, and then you select the short code block. So once you select the shortcut block, you can pass the default shortcut in there. But this requires product IDs. You can use product IDs, you can use product categories if you want to show products from categories. So you can see that when you click shortcut, there's a product IDs attribute, category ID attributes. So you can pull products from a category and display them on a one page checkout. And let me quickly show you how that will work. So I'm going to go to our dashboard on this page, you go to products, all products, and I'm just going to copy a few product IDs. So for that, I'm just going to move my cursor over the product and you can see, we can see the ID right here. So the ID of this is 29, this is 39. So I'm going to just do 88, 87, and we can call this, let's call this a landing page. So let's assume that we are running uh, a social media ad for certain products and we've created a landing page for those products. And we've now added our one page checkout uh, shortcut to the landing page. Guess what that's going to look like when potential customers click on our landing page URL and then they visit the page, they're going to see products uh, they can purchase and they can 
select the quantity of the products the one right here you can see once they select it updates automatically and they can check out on the same page so look at how amazing that is this is really useful if you decide to run uh, a marketing campaign for certain products let's assume that during the valentine period you know some top products that people like to buy you can create a landing page and add the products uh, to the page using the one page checkout short code and if you don't like the layout uh, one page checkout also has product selection template that determines how the layout looks so you can see this is the default layout and this they are other layouts so you can change the layout using the short code. So there are guides that shows you how to use the short code to change the layout. So for that, let me quickly say, add a template, it says add a template attribute with the slong of the template you want to use. So if you click this, as you'll see, so if we copy this template attributes and you can, we can see uh, the different uh, attributes for the template so I created some templates here so if I go to my pages all pages and you can see different templates I created basically by just copying the short codes on the documentation so here they are you can see this is the product list this is a product, a single product. This is product table. And to make our template to work, all what we have to do is to impute the product IDs. So I could simply just copy product IDs for this product and just replace this and update. And if I view that page, you're going to see what this particular template looks like. Let's try for this. Just change the product IDs. View, you can see what this particular template looks like. So that's the idea behind the template. So using uh, the short codes and the template, you could bundle some products together and customers will be able to purchase those products on one page which helps increase conversion and helps you make more sales and once you make more sales that justify buying uh, the extension for a few dollars and trust me it's it's really worth it and lots of woocommerce stores use it because it actually helps increase their conversion and if you're looking for a free alternative i recommend checking on wordpress.org for slash plugins and seeing if you can find a free alternative uh, the, the, the challenge with free alternatives is that uh, they, they are not going to have as much feature as the, as the paid one and the support may not really be reliable. So if you need a free alternative, you just have to search here, maybe search for one page checkout and see if you can find one that works for you. But I usually use uh, the one by WooCommerce and the good thing about purchasing it is that it also gives you access to uh, WooCommerce support. So that means if you run into a problem with your WooCommerce store, you can reach out to WooCommerce and they can take a look and point you in the right direction. So that's how to enable one page checkout in WooCommerce. If you find this tutorial helpful, please go ahead and like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when I upload new videos on WooCommerce and WordPress. Thank you for watching.